In this video, I'm going to show you how to save your GIMP. So if you are done, so here I have created a uh, background, I've added a text, I've added a border to it. The only thing I haven't done is making a drop shadow. So if I was not done with this and the bell is about to ring, I would go file and I would do save as. I have a GIMP folder created, so I need to go to my H drive and I need to find my GIMP folder. If that does not help you, come over here to the left and click on your H drive, find your GIMP folder, make sure you name this whatever it is. So this is actually my GIMP number one. I'm going to put a hashtag on number one. And this is a GIMP file that I want to be able to edit on another day. So that's why it is a .xcf. And then I click save. It has saved GIMP. And then I can close GIMP. And then I'm done. When you are going back, so this is the next day, and you want to open that file, you will go down to your H drive. You will go find GIMP. You will open whichever one you were working on last. It even has the time on it. So I double click and then GIMP will open. Here's my assignment and now I'm going to add a drop shadow. And then I'll come back and show you what you do when this is finished. So here I've added a drop shadow that kind of makes my text look like it is popping out off of my screen. And so now I'm done and I want to save this as a JPEG because that is a type of picture file. So I'm going to go File and I have to go Export As. I'm going to put this in my GIMP folder. So I'm checking. This is in my GIMP folder. And this one's to save it as a PNG, but we want a higher quality photo. So I'm going to name this a JPG, a JPEG. So it's still named GIMP number one because that's the one that I'm working on. And I'm doing .jpg. And then I'm going to click Export. And I want my quality to be 100%. We don't want to leave it at 90. We want 100% and we're going to go ahead and export it. And so now this is an actual picture file that I just saved and I can show you the difference. So this right here, this is a JPEG file. This is a GIMP image. This is something that I can edit. This is something I cannot edit. So this is what you want to have when you are done. And that is the thing that you're going to be adding to your Google Doc in order to be able to turn this in.